what's up guys welcome back to another video i know i haven't been posting i know i haven't been updating y'all with the car or anything but trust me we got a banger today today we are going to be installing new seats on my car um i have these ugly ass v6 seats i think i think they v6 they look v6 uh and they manual too so we're gonna be switching these holes out as you can see i already unbuckled this one the seat belt loose and everything already so I got some new seats. I got uh, the newer seats, that, if you want to call them, the newer seats on the chargers. They are electric and everything, so I'm going to show you all how they look, and I'm going to tell you what I've been through, because I bought them seats like a month ago, and man, them holes are trash. Them holes was giving me problems. But it wasn't necessarily the seat. It was actually the harness on my car. The harness was ass. Like, it was not fucking, it was not fucking working. The passenger side, these little two shits right here was hell. I'm gonna explain to y'all uh, what happened later on, but uh, for now, let's go ahead and start the video. Uh, right now, I'm gonna pull my car out because I am in the little garage, so I'm gonna pull my car out so I could be able to take the seats out and everything. I'll show y'all how to take the seats off and everything, but uh, let's get on with it. Man, they hold so fucking sexy. It's a little dirty with pollen, but but that hoe's still sexy. I'm gonna get my tools out. Oh shit, I almost fucking fell. We gonna get my tools out. Oh, oh, look at this mess. All right, so these are the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need this, uh, I don't know what they're called, but these, and obviously sockets and stuff like that, your normal toolbox. Like I said, that side's already taken off. I already took that side off, so this side is the only one that I haven't done anything to. Um, so what you're gonna do, let me try to explain. So, what you're gonna do is you see that you're gonna use i believe is the biggest one you're gonna use that to take that that bolt off once you take that bolt off that bolt releases the seat belt which is that right there and then after that we're gonna take the two bolts in the front off two bolts in the back and it should just come out like that this tool right don't stick it in here Make sure it's snug in there so you won't strip the bolt. And then after that, you loosen it, take it off. All right, once you cut it loose, man, it's, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was hard. This shit, it's the webbles, I ain't even gonna lie, cause man, I had to use a fucking hammer. But once you, once you got that bitch loose, put the hell, you just start turning. And then just take it off like that. Once you take it off, you're gonna let it hang. Now your seat belt off. After that, you're gonna push your seat all the way back. Now you're gonna take these bolts out right here. This one, and this one right here. This is the new one I got. So we're just gonna connect that home. And then we're just gonna loosen the seat. The first time you take these bolts off is gonna it's gonna be hard, so try not to strip them. I've already taken this uh, seat out before, so that's why they're not tied on there like that anymore. Once they're loose, just take these bitches off. And then throw them to the side. Don't lose them. You're gonna do the same thing over here. All right, so that one's out too. Let's throw it to the side. Like I said, don't lose them. Now that shit should be in loose. Now, you're gonna go back here. You're gonna take those two bolts out. So as you can see, this is the reason why I got new seats because these are manual and they come with a connector for the electric seat. So that's why I'm switching them out for the electric ones. But that bolt and that bolt. And then we could take this ugly nigga out and then uh we should be good that side's already loose like i said that hole ain't got no bolts but this one's the only one all right so these two bolts are out i ain't gonna lie what the fuck was that it's fucking hot it's going like a bitch but we got the hose taken off now they hold loose as hell just like your girlfriend coochie Hell. But uh, 
You can see, damn, that whole dirty as shit. What the fuck? But look, damn. Anyways, that's besides the point. We took these bitches off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these hoes out, vacuum this little thing right here real quick on the, on the carpet. And then uh, we gonna pull that hoe out and we gonna, well, we gonna pull that hoe out right now. We gonna pull that hoe out. And then I'm gonna explain to y'all what's up with them connectors and why they were giving me a hard problem. But uh, let me take these hoes out and uh, vacuum that hoe. And then I'll explain to y'all what happened over there. So now, we gonna just vacuum this hoe up. We are gonna take all this shit that I need. What is this? I don't know, but see? Connector right here. Put that to the side. We gonna vacuum all this shit up right here. And now that the whole vacuum, uh, I'm gonna explain to y'all what happened on the other side. All right, so both these are as you can clearly see, you know. Uh, but let me tell y'all what happened with these connectors. So when I had first bought the seats, the first thing I did was clean them up, right? And uh, connected them to see, but I did the passenger side, connected them to the passenger side because Obviously, I wasn't gonna go through the asshole of doing the driver's side, uh, you know, when I could have the passenger side just in case of anything happened, right? So I connected them, and when I connected them, I noticed that the power seat wasn't working, like the actual electronics. Put them on again and try them again, right? And I did, nothing worked again. So I was just like, what the fuck was wrong? You know, like, could it be the seat? Could it be the harness? Could it be, what could it be? I had no idea what it was. Keep in mind, I don't know anything about like electrician work or anything so i didn't know where to begin so i asked like my mechanic and i asked like a, a couple of people that you know are electricians and they say they couldn't do anything about it they didn't know what the, what was wrong that it would probably be in the harness or something there's like a cable chipped or something i'm telling y'all like it, it was i bought these holes like a month ago and ever since that ever since i bought them i just been outside just fucking with these trying to see what's up with them recently I had went to a junkyard because I wanted to get myself out of that doubt of if it was the connectors or what was it, you know? Because I, I see that in this connector, there's a black ground, but there ain't no positive. You know, this one, this one has, a, it looks like to be a positive right here. But on that side, it has the ground and the positive on that connector. So I, I cut the connectors off the old charger that I saw at the junkyard. I think it was like a 2011, same year, I believe. And I came home and I spliced them together. As you can see, right now I have them all wrapped in tape because I already finished, I found a solution or whatever. But I spliced them individually and nothing was working. I did every color, color by color, everything. Nothing was working. Uh, Until like, I think it was Thursday. Thursday, I didn't, I didn't, I decided not to go to school. I like, fuck that shit. So I came outside and I started fucking. I'm talking about like, I started fucking with the car. Like I took this hoe out, this hoe out, that hoe out. I took the back seats out. I took, I lifted the whole carpet up just following the, the, the fucking wires and shit. Nothing came out. So at the end of the day, I uh, resorted to, I tried everything. I, I, I spliced different wires to different wires, right? Nothing worked. There is power in the harness though. Cause I checked it with this meter. I have a meter. I bought a meter and I checked and there's power, but it wasn't power. It wasn't supplying it to the, to the seat. So what I did is from that positive, uh, that positive, uh, entry over there, I got a cable, just like a wire, just a normal 14 gauge wire. I connected it to the end of that connector, ran it all the way down here and connected it through here, through this little hole up here, this pin on top. I found a solution on how to bolt it on, but the thing about that solution is that I can bolt it on, move it however I want, but once it's time to put the, the driver's seat, I have to connect mine. So this one's not gonna be able to move anymore. So what I was thinking, I haven't tried this, keep in mind, I haven't tried this. So what I was thinking, I never ran this red wire through here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run this positive wire because this wire has current going through it. So I'm gonna run it through here and if it works i got a solution i have this seat working and that seat working at the same time so i wouldn't have to be uh disconnecting that one connecting it here to move it and shit you know so that's what i'm uh, that's what i think i'm gonna do right now just to see what's up but uh that's why this shit gave me so many problems this shit gave me so many problems if not i would have had this video up already but it took me like a month to figure that problem out
uh but we did it we figured it out and now we're putting these holes on but uh let me try that real quick i'm gonna try what i just told y'all and see if that works all right so this is what i did so i unspliced this red connector with this and i connected it through here now that is gonna power so uh that's gonna power the positive side and then there's the ground so when i connect the seat it should move with this if it don't then i'm gonna just go back to the passing the wire through here all the way down here and see what's up okay so i got both connectors connected right now if this works then i should be straight and i have found the solution to power both seats at the same time i don't think y'all can see it It's working though. Oh my god, I'm a motherfucking mechanic. Boy, if you don't get holy shit, look at that. I'm a motherfucking mechanic in there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna disconnect it. Wire that hole how it is right now. And we should be straight. Hell yeah. Alright, so I got the new seat mounted. As you can see, these are the seats. They're bucket style, you could say seats, the newer ones. Um, they are a little bit dirty right now, but you can see I connected them. And they do work. Look. You can see. They do work. So we in that hell, you know what I'm saying? No seats. Oh, yeah. Now. I need to do something about that. I'll probably find something to tie that hole up with. For right now, I'm finna bolt them on. And then I'm finna show y'all what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so I just bolted the seats in. I forgot to mention that I'm not gonna be changing the back seats just because they're the same as the front. See Alcatara and leather? Alcatara and leather. If these are the ones that I got, then these are the ones that I swapped them out with. As you can see, is a very big difference. Some people are gonna be like, you just waste the money for no reason. They look exactly the same. No, they don't, bitch. They don't look the same, ho. They look different, look. Look at them good. Now I'ma just clean them hoes. It's in there. Like I said, I'ma see what I can do about this, but it's moving. Struggling, but it's moving. So yeah, so now I'm gonna put the seatbelt on the hoe and then we gonna move to the next side. All right, so as you can see, we put the seatbelt on now. The car, I mean the seat is in. Like I said, facing that for sure. Finna give it a clean. But it looks like it's about to rain. It's sprinkling and I can feel it. And that's no bueno, cause it wasn't supposed to rain. That's why I recorded today, but I think I'm gonna just move it back inside the garage and finish it there. But we got one seat in. Oh, hold on, let's clean it here. All right, so I'll move back into the garage because uh, it started sprinkling and stuff and I didn't, uh, didn't want to get caught in the rain in between putting the seat on, so I just moved inside. Uh, but we, as you can see, passenger side is in. Now I'm on Metoca service uh, driver's side, which should be easy because there's no problems with this one. This should just be a plug and play, ya la verga. But uh, those wires are the wires of the LEDs. Obviously the C is gonna cover all that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard because just because of the steering wheel, you know, the steering wheel's in the way and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna put the hole back inside. And with the other seat, I'm gonna put the hole right there. Watch, 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 watch. It's gonna look clean, it's gonna look like a whole different car. I feel like I'm gonna drive it. Hell can in the hole. Watch. We in the hole now. Now we just gotta boat that bitch on. Boat that bitch on. What the fuck? I forgot to take the hole off. Tripping. Damn, I hope that bitch ain't no fucking power. But in one thing is some motherfucking nutter. You just to get in as my motherfucking brother. Boy, if you don't get. But uh, I'm finna take that bitch out then before I even bolt anything on. Should be straight. 
And just like that, we have installed the seats. I'm not sweating, bro. My bad. I didn't think I was gonna sweat that much, but I did. Uh, but they look like this. Man, them hoes clean as fuck. You cannot cap. These hoes got way more sportier look than the other one. They work and everything. Let me hop on. Let me hop on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna hold down a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what's one thing I'm finna hate? One thing I'm finna hate is uh having to get used to the hoe. Like uh in the aspect of um you know just having to get used to it because I was so used to my old C and now I gotta get used to this new one. But Fuck with it. This one works too and everything. Get it clean. Well, I'm gonna just clean them though. That's for sure. I'm gonna give them a little, little wipe down. All right. So I just took that hole out. And I connected the new seat belt. It's already connected and everything. As you can see, it works and everything. There is like a little crack right here, and it is like you know worn or whatever. But they still look good. Now I'm gonna just bolt the back. Bolt the back right now. Two little screws right there. I gotta get them aligned. And then the front should be all done. Man, I look big as hell swimming like this, bro. Oh, that ain't big as fuck, bro. <sighs> we did that shit, my nigga. Got that hoe in. Now we got that hoe in. Now we just gotta go bolt them bitches in. We should be good. These are how the seats came out uh, after I, you know, gave them a little clean up and everything. There are little details, like I said, this, you know, the little crackles, I guess, right there. Little, you know, peel spot. It's not that bad. Driver's side, I can tell you driver's side is worse than the passenger side, but they're still good. Um, I could buy seat covers that have an exact fit on the seats, so I ain't really worried about this, uh, the, the leather and all that too much. That is cracking, and um, I got something coming in for that. But right now, I just clean the seats, everything, so, and then I'm gonna just spray a little bit of black ice in the car, because why not? Porque no huele a pacuso, patas, culo, y badusi. But uh, smell good now. Oh yeah, right now I'm gonna connect the, the LED a lantern that goes to the right here for the LED light because I disconnected it because of the seat. Uh, but I'm gonna connect it back and we should be done. Um, if y'all like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below which I want to see next. Uh, I personally love the seats. The seats look amazing. Slowly but surely, the build is coming out. The build is coming together. Seats look clean. These are the back seats. Like I said, I didn't change the back seats because back seats are Alcantara as well, as you can see. And they are leather, so they match the front as well, you know? But uh, red guts or what? Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, if y'all like the video, please subscribe, comment down below, and like the video. Let me know what else y'all want to see. Uh, I do got another video on the way. We're gonna be doing little modifications to the vehicle, but y'all see that y'all see that in the next video. But like I said, if y'all like it, please like, subscribe, comment, and share with all your friends. See you in the next one.